Hey guys, Nate Techno here. Today I will be showing you how to get a Linux desktop onto your Chromebook. I will be using the Intel Acer C720. Um, let's get started. So what you need is a either a SIM card or flash drive that is four gigs or over. I have a SIM card here today. And to get it prepared for what we're going to do, we just need to go on it and format it. Once it's formatted, you can X out of your file manager and go into your Chrome and type in Chrome Chrome slash slash image burner okay sorry guys I told you the wrong thing you actually need to go to your chrome store and get something called the chrome recovery utility app once you get that, you can open it up. Once it's open, you press get started. Um, you have to do is click that. It should automatically identify your Chromebook since mine is an Acer C720. And you can press continue. Click the hard drive or SD card you're going to use and press create now I have already created mine so I'm going to skip this part and I'll meet you guys after you're done okay we're back so now that we're finished we can take out our SD card we don't need it anymore if you use a flash drive reject your flash drive put that just put it to the side for now so now, what you want to do is to get to the recovery mode, I mean, not recovery mode, but to get to developer mode, you need to press escape, refresh, and then hit your power button. I will meet you guys there in a second. Okay guys, you made it. So, now that you got it to the screen, don't get worried. You're, it's not really true. All you have to do is press control on your thing. Control D. And then this will show up. Just press enter and it will reboot. You can just press control D here again. Just to skip that. Now it will. You should let it, it's going to count to 30, and once it gets to 30, it's going to go into developer mode. I'll get you guys right in a moment. Okay guys, it has just booted up. So you just wanna do what you did when you first got it. You wanna go to your Wi-Fi, come on, just log in. I'll be one second. Okay, once you're connected, you can get connect. You can, this is optional, you can unclick it if you want. I'll leave it unclicked. But I'll just click it anyway. Hit accept. Check for some updates. And there you go, just log in. And I'll be back in a very short moment. Okay, guys. All logged in, everything's ready. So, past all that. Now, what you want to do is go to the link in the description and download something called Crouton. Once you get that, I'll be back. Okay, you guys got Crouton? It should look like this in your downloads. So, now what you want to do is in your 
on your keyboard, you want to press Control Shift T. No, not Control Shift T. It's Control Alt T. I'm confused with how I had it set up last time. So you hit Control Alt T, and for you guys, it will do this. It will open up a new cross window. Now, if you have secure shell and a uh, cross window, all you have to do is click the thing, but you don't. You probably, you most likely don't. So all you have to do is do Control Alt T. So once we get here, you're gonna want to type sudo shush squiggly line slash downloads slash crouton dash t x f c e now that's only if you're getting xfce here that's one of the desktops there's also kde and unity for them for the kde you do sudo s e i mean shush dash e dash downloads right here and then you do the, if you wanted unity you just take unity and put it where xfce C E is okay. So now you got this, just press enter. Oh, before you do that, type shell, then do sudo shush sorry. Just take that. Do that. And then press enter. Once you get here, it's going to start the retrieving the packages. I'll be back. Just let this run, and then once you get to the end, I'll be back. Okay, guys. See, now it is finished and asking me for its username. Mine's going to be Techno, because I like that name, as you can see in my uh, YouTube name. Um, press enter, and then you're going to type your password. It's not going to show up, but it is being typed, so watch what you type. You're going to type it again. There we go. See this? Right here is telling you how to start your... XFCE. Um, I'll be back in a second. Okay, guys. So now I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So I'm going to do my sudo start. Can you see that? Yeah. XFCE4. For you, if you're using KDE, it's most likely sudo start KDE. And for Unity, you sudo start Unity. Just press enter. And it. Shell. I always forget that. You have to type shell first. And then do sudo start xfce4. Once you do that, hit enter, and there we go. There is our desktop. A few things to get you started. Let's open up a terminal window. And first thing you want to do is do sudo apt dash get install. Software. Did I spell that right? Yes. Software. Dash center. And then, enter. and then type your password. And then it's going to ask you if you want to download. Hit yes or Y and boom. I'm going to download all the necessaries. And... I'm 
once it gets to 100, it's going to install, as it's doing right now. Okay, almost done. Once it's done setting up, it should be ready. Almost there. Come on. Come on. Boom. Okay. There we go. It's processing. And there we go. Once you get to the green dot with the precise before, you can X out of your window here and you can go to oops wrong button still getting used to this new thing here so you want to go to it's usually in system and then go to your Ubuntu software center and click it it'll open up and there you go in a software center where you can download all your things. There we go. If you guys would like any more help with this, just put it down in the comments and I'll make a video. See ya.